And it's funny, like for years I sold coke and I did all this shit just to get my comedy going. But it wasn't until I went to New York in 94 where I really, I couldn't believe my life. Like I was a comic, but at the same time I was also mugging people. Like my buddy would chase people up in fucking Harlem. Like there was these drug dealers and he would watch them all day. And he had a fake DEA badge. And they would come out, he'd arrest them for fake and take their coke. And I'm like, what the fuck did I get myself into? But it was something that I just didn't want to, I wasn't proud of the things I was doing. It was just something, like I said, I was surrounded by larceny. And I'm not copping out to you motherfuckers and saying I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed every fucking minute of it. You know what I'm saying? From being chased to being shot at to the whole thing. The comedy thing, I mean, today when I was going through this, I was thinking about this thing I used to do when I first got into comedy. This is how broke I was, but this is how much I believed in myself, guys. I worked in New York City, and I was broke. I had to send $635 a month for child support. I was paying two fucking rents. I had a $10,000 a month in like credit card bills from the marriage. I didn't know what the fuck to do. So I, all the money I was making selling cars, I would send home, you know? And this is when I call. I used to go to the A&P every morning on the Jersey side and steal vaginal, the stuff for yeast infections, whatever that, Vagisil. I would steal cases of Vagisil and bare aspirin and put it in a bag and walk over the George Washington Bridge to the Spanish area of Manhattan and sell Vagisil and fucking aspirin to the bodegas there because that's what they're big on. I guess a lot of women get fucking yeast infections in Harlem. I mean, can you imagine that shit? Going to A&P every morning, I just walk in, I had like a bag, I was a car salesman. So I had like a bag, but it stretched. And I go in there and they, they put shit on the shelves, but on the top they put the overstock. I would just go, <laughs> pull a Vagisil and put a fucking aspirin and walk out. And, and one day I was walking over the bridge and it dawned on me like, for me to grow as a human being, as a comic, I gotta stop all this shit now. And that was 94. Between me and you, I just stopped shoplifting about five years ago, because I, I wasn't thiefing no more, but you still have to, you know, old habits die hard. So all I was doing was robbing lighters from 7-Eleven, and I got pretty good at it. <laughs> right there, you know how they have the lighters right there? When you go to pay, you just clip a lighter right in front of them. Really? Just... <laughs> like, even today, I'm a comic and shit, but from time to time, I got to clip something just to, like at the airport, I always clip a fucking paper. Fuck those motherfuckers. Two dollars for fucking a chocolate bar. I'm clipping that shit. I take the newspaper, put the chocolate bar in the middle and close it and put it under my arm like fucking what? <laughs> Southwest. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, uh, 